biggest fight of my life, biggest week of my life. Um, you know, I just really, I'm really confident, really prepared, you know, confident in my, my training, the five weeks that I put in, I'm confident in my coach uh, and his ability to build a game plan. Um, Tony's a dangerous man, man, and he's um, uh, very awkward, man. He's, uh, he punches from different range than most. He punches at different times than most. So it's something I'm really going to have to figure out in there. But um, you know, I consider myself one of the best in the world, and I'm looking forward to uh, figuring that out. A lot of people put so much into losing and winning, and ultimately for me it's just about giving 100%, performing to my best ability. Um, you know, I'm constantly, I constantly pray that me and my, me and my opponent walk out of there, you know, without serious injury. I pray for strength and courage to go out there and perform. And, um, you know, that's a dangerous combination because, you know, Tony, Tony's used to people being scared of him. I'm not scared. You know, I hope he breaks my nose. I'm waiting to get it fixed. It hasn't been right for like 12 years. So uh, I've been waiting for a long time for someone to break my nose. Maybe he'll plant an elbow on there. You know, I might regret asking for that because, uh, you know, it's a painful, painful injury. But I do need to get it fixed. You know, I'm not scared to get it. I'm not scared to get sliced up, knocked out. You know, those are those, that comes with the territory, and um, you know, I'm content with all of those situations. What do you say to those gamblers out there who might want to make some money this weekend? I don't know. What I always say is, if you're betting against me, bet your house so I can take it from you. But other than that, um, you know, I'm 100% confident in my ability to put this, put him to sleep. Um, you know, he tends to get hit. And, um, you know, with my, um, with my bit of patience that I do have, I tend to, uh, my last few fights have been able to find those shots and, you know, they have not been able to take them. Uh, Tony's no different. Tony has a brain. I just got to make it shake. Um, and then the natural course of the body takes, takes place and he goes to sleep. Have you thought about how many eyeballs are going to get to see you this weekend? That there are going to be more people tuning in to see a Justin Gaethje fight probably than ever. Yeah, it, you know, there's not going to be fans in the, in the seats, so that'll be a little bit different. Uh, you know, it'll be more intimate, as weird as that sounds. Uh, you guys are going to be able to hear the blows, hear the strikes, hear the breathing. Uh, you know, those are very, uh, those are things that you don't ever get to see or hear. Um, so I'm very excited about that. But, you know, I am a show off. I love being under those lights. And yeah, I do think about that because that's what drives me. I, you know, I love showing off. It's, it's what I've always done. I'm a competitor. I'm I'm such a, such a competitor that um, when those lights come on, when the adrenaline starts kicking in, you know, I have no choice but to perform. So uh, it's, I've really worked hard since I was four years old to, to let that be natural, and it's so natural now.